All right guys, first day of ice fishing of the season. Let's go out there and see if we can make it happen. Well guys, I'm out here, first time out of the season, only going with artificial today, just kind of get a feel for things. Not a giant, but it's a fish.
just an itty bitty little guy. Banger. It's got a weird fin. Oh, it's a monster crappy. Oh, yeah. Whew. There we go. That's what we want. that that is what we want right there Yes, yeah, that little guy. He'll preach. So it seems like the retrieve they want is a little tap 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 tap. Let it fall. And then let it sit. Something big. What was that? Oh my god, it's a large mouth. Oh my god, it's a beast of a large mouth. Oh my god. Yeah. 
fish. Oh my god. Oh man, look at that fish. What a beaut. Wow. Thanks, bud, for stopping by. You just made my day. that was wow Four pound line, what a rush. Whew. What a rush. Yes, yes, that's what I want. Chill, man. That's what I want right there. That is a nice crappy. Oh my god, yeah, that's a nice little slab. <laughs> yeah! Hope you guys can see it. That is a nice crappy right there. Oh yeah.
Another nice one. Not as big as the other two, but... Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the size of that crappy. Oh jeez. That, that is wow. Wow. That is a fish right there. It is maybe a PB crappy right there. Look at that. Wow. Oh, oh. Came right off. on right now. Alright, I think that's going to have to conclude the evening. That was a good day of fishing. Had its lulls, but a good day. talk to you guys in the recap so guys it's been a few days now since I shot that video that you just watched there just wanted to kind of give you a little summary of kind of what I was using and what exactly I was doing basically what I was throwing was two different baits now on the video that I just shot almost all of my fish came on that little tube jig that I was using so it was just a 132nd ounce, I believe, a uh, Strike King head in like a chartreuse color. And I was using two different tubes on that jig head. There were two inch tubes, I believe. One of them was a Bass Pro Shops brand uh, crappy Max tube. The other one was a Strike King uh, Mr. Crappy two inch tube. And it was in, I believe, the Cajun Cricket color, which is kind of a chartreuse and orange color. Out of the two, the Bass Pro Shops Mr. Crappy I found to be slightly better. It seemed to be a slightly softer plastic, so it gave it a little more action in that cold water. And it seems to be heavily salted as well, so I don't know if that helped or not. I caught fish on both of them, but most of them were on the Bass Pro Shops tube. Now, the other bait that I was using that I didn't really get much on it in this video but since that video I had been out a couple times and what I found to be working really well especially for the perch is actually this tiny little blade of jig this tiny little chatterbait I believe this is the chatterbait micro 1 8 ounce and I actually as a little trailer I used the strike king lightning shad and I believe that is in Tuxedo Sparkle or something along those lines. Um, so like I said, I've been out a couple times since that video that you've just watched. And it seems to be either one or the other that I've been catching them on. So it will either be on that little tube or they'll be biting this tiny little chatterbait just vertically jigging it. And surprising enough, this little tiny chatterbait actually has been working really well. It gets vibrating really quickly. And uh, 
I had just sitting in the tackle box for a longer t longest time and never have used it. So I finally picked it up and started using it and it was actually um, working pretty well for me. Um, in terms of gear, the only other thing that I might note, I was using two different rods, uh, very inexpensive rods. Uh, I never spend a lot when it comes to ice fishing rods. The one that I use most is a little uh, light Berkeley ice fishing rod, like nothing fancy. It works just fine with uh, four pound fluorocarbon line is what I was using there. So the little four pound line definitely made it interesting when I hooked into that nice large mouth. I was actually sticking the tip of my rod through the hole so that it didn't cut my line off on the ice. So that was that was a nice little surprise. Um, overall, what you just saw, pretty good day. Caught numbers and some qualities. And uh, like I said, that large mouth was a really nice surprise. Really kind of capped off the day. So that was pretty much my day. It was uh, it was a good day. And uh, I appreciate you guys coming along. Uh, feel free to like the video, subscribe. Got more videos coming in the future. Hopefully when the, everything thaws out, I'll be able to get out on the water again. As always, I appreciate you all. And until then, tight lines and loose lips. Take care.